What's up guys, Derek from PlaySmartAids.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about this crazy before and after you guys have been tagging me. This is Ben Polak, strength artist. This guy just posted a before and after transformation that looked absolutely ridiculous. He gained 55 pounds of muscle in 15 months, according to the caption. Top comment, steroid tech, got you busted. <laughs> um, Obviously, these guys are just like, it's at the point where it's like so obvious that they're like, this is clear, just fucking with each other here. It's 55 pounds. This guy, that was serious. 55 pounds of pure muscle in a little, little over a year is impossible. The, let's see what the responses are like. Hmm, guess my scale and every other scale in the world is broken or you're wrong. I believe you gained 55 pounds, but not 55 pounds of muscle. That's straight up ridiculous. Even the world's best bodybuilders can only gain five to seven pounds of muscle every year, even when juiced up to the gills. No hate man, but no one can gain that much muscle in here. And just for reference, I didn't even show the before picture. This is what he looked like 15 months ago. This is what he looks like now. So the world's best bodybuilders are also 280 pounds in stage shape. So there's not much room for them to put on much more muscle on. Of course, they'd gain far less muscle in a year than Ben has when he's just really, when he's really just heating up. You're wrong. Wait three weeks and I'll take a picture of the scale at weigh in for the show. It'll show, it'll be between 50 to 60 pounds. It gained 50 to 60 pounds gained since last year, presumably <laughs> likely closer to 60, both in legitimate contest shape. Man, I really don't like chiming on posts like this. Numbers don't really matter. Ben, you look fucking amazing. Maybe 55 pounds of lean body mass, not necessarily 55 pounds of skeletal muscle mass. Either way, man, incredible com accomplishment. Keep grinding. It's been awesome to watch. Obviously, he must have known he was going to get this kind of a response posting concrete numbers like that because a lot of people are going to see a DEXA scan and they're going to say, oh, you know, intracellular fluid. It's, it's not really accounted for in terms of blood volume, nitrogen retention, glycogen, fucking intracellular fluid. There's a lot of ways to artificially inflate your muscle weight like even within a week, you know, I could jump on some fucking MK677 and gain like five pounds of muscle when obviously it's actually not. The thing I would look at is his before picture. How dry is he compared to the after and how full is he going to be in comparison? Like if they consider the amount of retention you can get of things when you are on super, physio super physiological doses of anabolic androgens and how much more retentive of overall weight you can be at a higher cross-sectional area, if that makes any fucking sense whatsoever. So basically, the more muscle you have to work with, the more you can retain temporary weight in, if that's an easier way to put it. So like, for example, a lot of these UFC fighters, when they cut for shows, for example, like Paulo Costa, he's like, what like he's like fucking 8% body fat or something when he's like a day out and then he still drops like 20 pounds of water and he like over depletes like some of these guys it's kind of like at what point are we defining the difference between water muscle blood volume just temporary shit at the end of the day because yes this guy could be as lean body caliper wise potentially but is it going to be all muscle when you could still probably like dehydrate another bit out of you. I, like, I don't know, dude, it's hard. Like, the lines get blurred when you're looking at shit. Like it's almost reminds me of the, uh, the Tony huge, like gaining a certain amount of muscle in like seven days. And like these guys that are like similar body fat and they're claiming it's like 20 pounds of muscle when in reality, it's like a couple pounds at the most, not even. And it's just like a bunch of temporary weight. This is not even close to the same, but I'm just trying to say the idea behind a guy who looks like a similar body fat percentage or may otherwise have a similar body fat percentage on a DEXA scan or a whatever, but he is up, you know, a certain amount of weight. And of that weight, it would be hard to argue that it's not muscle other than the fact that with increased cross-sectional area, you can temporarily hold more temporary fluid and whatnot in that area. Hard to fucking say, dude. Like, this is a nuts transformation. Is it actually 55 pounds of muscle, though? I think it depends what you define as muscle. I would say it's lean weight. I don't think it's necessarily contractile tissue, though. If that's... Uh, I, said, I said that so aggressively. <laughs> contractile fucking tissue. But anyways, let's see what else there is in here. Man, I really don't like chiming in on posts. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, you're wrong. You've obviously been training for decades. The gain slowed down after years of training. You can't just put on fit 60 pounds of lean muscle in a little over a year. So if what you're saying is true, then in the next three years, you will get 165 pounds of lean muscle. It's straight up ridiculous. I sort of agree with that because this guy is not a newbie to the gym and to claim 55 pounds of muscle in, you know, a year and a quarter is uh, pretty fucking insane. But again, it's like, 
some people it's going to be hard to argue if they don't understand the like temporary nature of some of this weight some people are going to see oh you know like on stage it was stage weight so like how could you argue against that it's kind of like you know what i mean the lines get kind of blurred with this shit. yeah they can do a whole lot but not 55 pounds of lean muscle that takes decades to put that on you can't just consistently put that much muscle on per year uh, they're going on about abs. Um, you'd be fast how much muscle you can put on with PEDs. We're taking nutrition and possibility knowledge from a guy that probably has never eaten eight meals a day. What? I don't see how that's relevant at all. Bro, Ben stage lean in both photos. What makes you think he didn't? Physiologically, I don't think it's fucking possible even on copious amounts of gear with the best genetics in the world to put on 55 pounds of muscle in 15 months. That's just absolutely absurd. So no, I don't think it's 55 pounds of muscle, but this guy looks absolutely insane. So this is like, I don't know, man. Like, it's almost like, like, I, I don't know if he's trying to rile up the comment section with this or if he actually is just like really proud of it or what. But like, he, I'm sure, presumably, he already knew that a lot of people are going to shit on him for it. And I'm not, I'm not shitting on him for it. I think this is an amazing transformation and the hard work and fucking eating and everything that went into this, the fucking training the adherence to whatever ridiculous regimen it probably took to make these kinds of this kind of progress especially at this level already is just absurd but it's you know anyone can see plain as day it's not 55 pounds of like actual muscle you know so but again i don't know is it in the the 20s maybe I, that seems more reasonable to me like 20 pounds of muscle to 30 and even that's fucking nuts. Like even pull, wrapping my head around that number even seems insane. So to say, you know, 50 plus is just absolutely bonkers for a guy that, like, let's see what he looked like 15 months ago in some uh, more flattering shots. Let's see. So this is almost two years ago. And, and this is what he looks like. Obviously not nearly as big. It's like the difference between a guy who's in like classic physique and a guy who's in like open bodybuilding at this point. But is that 55 pounds of muscle different? Like, mm, I don't think so, man. He's already fucking jacked here in October of 2018. And yeah, it's like you're way more jacked now, but I mean, 55 pounds. Let's look at it again. Here's what he looks like September 27th. Here's what he looks like now. Most muscular shot, like grainy, most muscular. This guy looks fucking sick. His front double buy is mean, dude. This guy looks awesome. But yeah, definitely not 55 pounds of muscle in my opinion. Maybe I'm a fucking idiot, but I don't see it. I think this is a crazy transformation though, and I feel like the caption almost takes away from how impressive it is because a lot of people are just gonna like have a bad taste in their mouth when they see it because I, uh, I don't know. I'd have a hard time of anybody coming out and being like, I can't imagine a lot of people coming out and being like, yeah, that's obviously 55 pounds of contractile tissue in 15 months. Duh. Like, I don't, I don't fucking see it. So again, it's kind of shitty that it's going to take away from the transformation because this is absolutely ridiculous and good on him. Frankly, I'm just going to ignore it for the rest of the video. I think it is, uh, <laughs> I get circling back to his hard work. This guy looks great. Hopefully this video uh, gives him some exposure because this guy has, uh, if he even wants it, I don't know if he gives a fuck. Um, but, uh, he looks like he's, you know, primed to do some damage and it should be interesting to see, you know, how much more he progresses. Like he's already like a pretty vetted guy. It seems like who's already done, been a bodybuilder for a while, or at least, you know, trained to gain muscle for a decent amount of time. So to gain even 20 plus pounds lean, if it was somehow actual muscle at this point of his career is just fucking absurd, let alone 55 would take him from looking like the way he did to looking like, I don't know, like fucking Phil Heath. I, like, I don't know, 55 pounds of muscle is like, like a lifetime's worth of steroid gains for a lot of guys. Like going out of their way to pack on little by little, like five to 10 pounds of stage weight per year of like actual contractile tissue. And like maybe, you know, maybe on the stage last year, he before he was, you know, 55 pounds lighter. I don't know. It's an interesting fucking argument because, you know, if you get on the stage and you're the same leanness, was it 55 pounds of muscle? Stage weight, contractile tissue? Is it the same fucking thing? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm a, like, I, my estimate is this is not 55 pounds of muscle, but I think it's fucking impressive nonetheless. Let me know what you guys think. Looking at his before and afters, you have to look at way back in the day. This is what he looks like now. That double buy, the mean fucking ferocious double buy compared to this two years ago not even one not even the 15 months he's referring to but this was two years ago to date now it's not like he was fucking small you know he looked absolutely sick here let's see what he looked like 
this last year. Okay, so this is about the 15 month ago mark and he's looking pretty classic here. 219.5 pounds, 12 weeks out. Not looking substantially different in June 11th than he did the previous uh, October that we were just looking at. But now the front double buy is that of a strong bodybuilder. So anyway, let me know what you guys think down below. You think it is 55 pounds of muscle? I think it's probably closer to, I don't know, definitely not that fucking close. <laughs> definitely not in that ballpark. So um, all the comments help the algorithm. They're much appreciated. Go uh, check this guy out. Give him a follow. Obviously, uh, anybody making this kind of progress at this stage in his career is doing something right. So it's definitely probably worth giving him a follow. See what the fuck's up. So um, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplates.com. Follow me on Instagram at moreplates underscore more dates. Facebook, Snapchat, Bitchu, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcast. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below. My TRT clinic, as well as Gorilla Mind, Gorilla Mode, my turnkey nootropic and pre-workout formulas I designed from scratch myself, and anything else I'm associated with, it's all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.